Fringe. Past, present, and future. Peter Bishop had created a bridge between the two worlds. I've torn holes in both the universes, and they lead here, to this room. But his actions would come with an inconceivable price. He was erased from existence, thereby creating a new timeline. You were right. They don't remember Peter. How could they? He never existed. A timeline where some events remain the same, but where many things had been changed quite profoundly. Here, Olivia was raised under the care of Nina Sharp. After our mother died, my sister and I were due to go into the foster system. Instead, Nina pulled some strings and we went to live with her. And Walter was unable to save the young Peter from over there. The frozen lake where I created a portal between universes was unsound. And when we crossed back, the ice broke. And Peter, the other version of him, drowned. And I lost him all over again. Though Olivia would still get Walter released from St. Clair's, without Peter's presence in his life, he was far too fragile to leave the lab, taking up permanent residence in the only place he felt safe, and forcing Astrid to be his eyes and ears in the field. Rigidity indicates premature rigor mortis. I need to check her anus. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna need to check her anus. Some things change for the better as here, Colonel Broyles was still alive on the other side, and the bridge did bring an uneasy alliance between the two worlds. Maybe I'm not the problem. Maybe it's you. Maybe you are just incapable of trust. Interesting. Coming from the person who kidnapped me and stole my life. But this new timeline also brought with it a new breed of shapeshifters. Undetectable human hybrids with the ability to shift between every identity that ever taken. The new improved models do a lot more than just take on the appearance of another person. They replicate their victims down to the molecular level. The Lincoln Lee from our side would lose his partner at the hand of these new foes, bringing him into the fold of Fringe Division. We were partners for five years. He believed that everything happened for a reason. I'm having a hard time believing that there's a reason for this. Peter Bishop may have been erased, but echoes of his existence still remained. I've been having hallucinations. What are you seeing? Help. A young man. Does he look like this? I, I've been seeing him in my dreams for the past three weeks. The timeline has been rewritten, and yet traces of him continue to bleed through. They can never know the boy lived to be a man. September was tasked with finishing the job he'd started. Mind my asking what you need all this stuff for? I need to erase someone from time. But for reasons yet unknown, he chose not to. Now it was only a matter of time before Peter Bishop would return. But he returned to a world that viewed him as a stranger. This man possesses a lot of classified information about our division and all of us. Where this Walter would have nothing to do with him. For the past 25 years, I've tried to imagine what you would look like as a man. My son. I don't deserve this. You were sent to tempt me to see if I would repeat the mistakes of the past. Wherever you came from, however you got here, it doesn't matter. I can't help you. Walter, you don't understand. I tried to help a boy, a version of my son, 25 years ago. But that boy was never my son. Neither you. Peter struggled to find his place in this strange new world, all the while searching for a way to get back to where he belonged. Clearly, I'm in the wrong place, and all the people that I know and love are somewhere else. Now I just gotta figure out how to get home. But a battle was brewing as the new shapeshifter's mission began to take shape. And just when she was needed most, Olivia found herself struggling with a debilitating condition. You okay? Yeah, I just started to get a little migraine. The cause of which would prove to be a shocking violation at the hand of the woman she trusted the most. Why was Nina secretly dosing Olivia? Who was behind this new breed of shapeshifters? And how will Peter ever find his way home? The machine was powerful enough to pop me out of my timeline. And I think it's the only thing that can get me back to where I belong. These are the questions seeking answers this January with the return of Fringe.